if you want to be in a low voltage world, the RCDD is probably the most valuable thing you can have. Once I got my RCDD, I was promoted a couple of times. I've been all around the state traveling and I've been put on projects that have sent me around the world. I've been to multiple countries and continents and be able to design something that I wouldn't have been able to if I didn't get my RCDD. The training that that certification provides proves that. It doesn't matter what product or company you're working with or for or installing or product of, your design training is going to apply and you can see it in everything you do. It gives you good insight into the topics that you may run into and it does a really good job of going in depth for all of those topics. It prepares you for really understanding what challenges you would come across and how you would want to be dealing with those challenges. There's a lot of specifications out there that require the contractors to have an RCDD on staff. And, uh, and that's where I've also got a lot of job interest from guys that knew I had it and that don't have one on staff here currently and would like to pursue those projects and just aren't able to. So it's uh, just opened a lot of doors for them as far as projects they can pursue. And a lot of times competition is limited um, because while it is a popular certification, it's still kind of exclusive at the same time. We're starting to see more and more requirements on specifications where you must have at least one RCDD on staff. Every job that I've applied for, the RCDD certainly helps me to stand out. I got my certification five years into the industry. When I came into the technology industry, knew that I wanted to get my RCDD. It's kind of the the upper echelon, like it's the equivalent of RPE in technology. So I always knew that I wanted to get it. And so I kind of made a goal that when I got in, as soon as I was eligible, I was going to sit and take the exam. After receiving the RCDD, I uh, you know, got a promotion to the deputy project manager position. And I'm also um, known as a wiring and system integration SME on the team now. 